Welcome to India and uh, Desmond and all these uh, wonderful stones. Was it, was it Desmond? No, it wasn't. Brian, Brian. How good have you got you? Okay. Now, everybody knows that it's first day and this year we're celebrating our 250th birthday in Westport and uh, we've come a long way and uh, we all discovered this 250th event thanks to uh, one John Mayer. So uh, let's give John a round of applause because... Uh, the uh, Westward Historical Society has uh, been doing a wonderful job, kind of, uh, I suppose, uh, inspiring us with the things of the past, and uh, thank you, John, for that, and that's why we're here today. We're here really to uh, acknowledge your contribution, because you're the people who have built Westward over the, the years, and you've, you're the people who have made Westward what it is. So I think you all deserve a little round of applause. Now, I'd like to uh, acknowledge, uh, I know we're joined by Councillor Highland and Councillor Mulroy, but we're also joined with uh, former councillors like uh, Councillor Seamus Hughes, who's now a judge, Judge Hughes, Councillor Patrick Durkin, Judge Durkin is with us, Councillor J.P. Campbell, and Councillor Sean O'Malley, all former councillors who have uh, played their part in international politics. We've got apologies from another very important former councillor, of course, uh, Minister Michael Ring can't be with us today, he's got another engagement. This uh, idea came uh, about having you here today, uh, really I think it was uh, an offshoot of the, the uh, 250 committee and I remember uh, Mel Kenny at one of the meetings uh, said uh, we should do something like this and uh, on the subcommittee we've got the likes of uh, former councillor, of course, Margaret Adams, uh, Maggie McGain, Claire Purton, Rhys McNally, Rosemary Doyle, and from the office, Anne Moore, Mel Kenny, and of course Evan Horn. They've all played their part in, in I suppose, getting you here today. The uh, associations involved the Westward Active Retirement, the Westward Lions Club, Social Services, the Men's Shed, and the Westward Ladies Social Group. Nice name for a group, isn't it? Okay, before further ado, we would like now to call on the chairman of the 250 committee. I know he's uh, rushing to a christening because he's uh, a granddad of recent times. Councillor Christy Highland. Thank you, uh, uh, Reverend Charlie, an honoured guest. I won't say ladies and gentlemen, honoured guest. First of all, I want to say sincerely, on behalf of the 250 committee, thank you for coming today and honouring the occasion of our children and families. I'm not going to stay up here all day or hold you too long, just to say that um, we've had a very good year. We're in the fall of it now, and uh, there's no few weeks left. We had some fantastic uh, occasions during the year, which was good for our town. You know, we might have lost our town council, but we haven't lost our resilience, and we haven't lost our spirit. And when I look around the room here today, and I'm not going to name organisations or people, just all the organisations over the years that are represented. Voluntary workers who put the shoulders at the wheel when there's challenges out there. And the, the partnership that's there, and it's in this room. And Dermot mentioned um, my grandson Rowan's Highlands Christening today. I feel good actually, another generation coming, like it's all. And um, just to look around, and I just want to say thanks for uh, all the work. We wouldn't agree all the time, why would we? Um, but that's good. Uh, I remember being at a nine-year general meeting with G. Eckle one time when I was secretary, and the chairman turned around after the meeting and he said it was very quiet. We came to the conclusion it was so quiet it wasn't a healthy, it wasn't a healthy sign. Because you need uh, disagreement of different opinions, and then uh, part our differences and work together, which Westwood has done all through the years. There are times I go around to events outside of the county, being a councillor, and one very important one was the one that I went to the Greenway, and they learned a lot from that. But when you go into a room and people hear you from Westwood, they're drawn to you. They could be from Clonmel, they could be from Waterford, they could be from London. But it's not me they're drawn to, it's Westwood. And they want to know what's going on in Westport. How come you're such a success in Westport? And I always talk about the partnership. The partnership, 
As I said, we're all the organizations I've mentioned, too many of them. It's about partnership, it's about working together, and it's about having the spirit and the work ethic. I can look around the room and I can go back to the, myself, I, I'm an adopted son of a sport, uh, back to the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, and then we go up to the 90s, and there was difficult times, let's be honest, it wasn't all the roses. But we got there, there were some uh, challenges, serious challenges. But uh, we all work together. Brought to West Ham. I want to thank the organisers for today. Uh, I'm not going to sing about anybody. Just to say a very sincere thank you for organising it, and thank you all for honouring the occasion. We had some fantastic um, events, as I said, during the year, and uh, one that I suppose stands out. We can go back to last year when we got together as a committee. And I was honoured to be given the role as chairman. And uh, we were in the room, and I just want to remember here today, you know, during the year we've all lost loved ones, so we spare a thought for them. But at that meeting over a year ago, we discussed various events, trying to bring it together, the challenge that was there. And then um, number of people were in the room. There's one person I want to remember today, and he was in that room. And we talked about the events. He said back to the chair, the person talking about Lord have mercy, it was Neil O'Neill. He said back to the chair, and he said, where's the wow factor? That was his line. Where's the wow factor? We need a wow factor. And we kind of looked, looked, and that's the day, one of the big events during the year, that's the day it was born. That was a game show, which was a fantastic event. And I want to give a thought uh, to Neil and his loved ones for the sad loss of Neil so tragically. And just remember him today because he has left a huge void in my sport. He was involved in a number of organizations. He was on the main drive for At such a young age, only 36, and the number of organizations that he was involved in. He was a great driving force. There's a huge void there. the CCTV system, we put the first figures, and Neil was great at the public flag. The purple flag is a flag that's awarded for towns that is safe and that you have a feel-good factor when you visit the town. And this purple flag, the judges came, Neil went around the town with them. And the second phase of the CCTV system, we that I drive in Harvard with my colleagues at the council, and Brendan and uh, the other councillors, Teresa here at the town, we're driving that, and uh, it's going to be a, a, a feel safe factor for us locals and visitors alike. But it's how it is safe, it is a good town. But we're going into the future to ensure that it is, it continues to be a safe town. And I want to remember, as I said, Neil today for that. I'm going to uh, the end, folks, and I just say that um, we can look back, brilliant, but let's hold our spirit our work ethic, and above all, our partnership into the future, that we ensure that this town continues to be where it is, judged independent adjudication to be the best town in Ireland to live in. What an achievement. And I want you all, folks, to give yourselves a round of applause, because we will put that up there without you, folks. I'm going to leave it at that, and as I said, I will be coming and going because my grandson Ronan, Ronan Highland, it's a good day that uh, another uh, little boy is in the world, and the christening is on today, but uh, I'll come back later, and as I said, I'm not going to go through all the organisations that put us to where we are. You, you people know, you were there, you were there before I ever came here in the 70s, and you were the people, two tough times, and we talked about the crash and recession, there was difficult times going back. The 50s and back further, and we all came through, and he came through. And then just to say, it, well done, folks, very well done. And we will work together, we will continue the partnership, and we will keep our town up there. That is the challenge. It's like being in all Ireland, it's okay to win your response, yes, we all want to win your response, but the challenge is to keep winning 
and keep our town where it is. And we will, and don't be afraid to say to any of the councillors, such a problem is there. We might be able to solve it, but we might get some, get, well, some distance in solving it. And we'll work together to do that. We part our politics as our town councillors on the state and work for the town in the partnership. And we will work, and we will work as well, because I know you will, to keep our town where it is, the best place in Ireland to live. And thank you, folks, for bringing our town to where it is. Thank you. Committee, and uh, I will, of course, echo everything you said about uh, our colleague, Blake Neil O'Neill. May he rest in peace. Christy has softened a bit, hasn't he? Do you remember the time he was with Pete Cap and South and Sergeant Ferry? He didn't do anything out of the way. He was there with the little black boot. But anyway, he's softened. Okay, it's now time to just acknowledge that uh, John and Maureen, who are an institution and musical talent around the town, they will be entertaining you after the meal. Uh, Pat Friel also is going to do a little bit, and you never know, Mary Conley, I see her there, you never know, she might do a recitation or something like that. So uh, there will be entertainment after the meal, but as well as that, I just want to acknowledge uh, Noel Kavanagh and uh, Lean Campion down at Super Valley, because if ever you want anything done, or you want a bottle of wine or a spot prize, and uh, Noel and Liam will always come to the fore, and they've sponsored all the wine this afternoon. So, a little round of applause for Noel Kavanagh and And on that note, I'd like to advise Father Charlie to say grace. And he doesn't need a microphone at all. <laughs> Just very briefly, Westport 250, congratulations. And a lot of great events, but this was, and this is the most important one. It acknowledges, by the way, a lot of you here seem to be here under false pretenses. <laughs> it said, seniors, you must either be lying or full of Botox, I'm not sure. But, <laughs> thanks, but, thanks, Charlie. But the reality <laughs> is, looking round, you are with a capital F and a capital M, the fathers and the mothers of Westport. And we thank you for that. I don't mean the parental sense, I mean the patriarchal sense in the best possible sense of that word. So we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Arena Rinya, Arena and Ranch, Bani Urgij, Isurgij of the Three Christ or Jirna. Amen. King of the universe who made everything, bless us and all belong to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father Charlie. And now it's over to Roma and Colette and the team here at Hotel Westport to serve you a wonderful lunch. Enjoy. <laughs>